No, it feels really, it's kind of your zone or whatever, you know, when people say that they're in a zone. That's when I'm, when I'm doing something and it's working out and everything's, everything's just feels really good. It, um, it's kind of a high, I guess. I mean, it feels like it feels like it's what I'm supposed to do when I'm doing it. It feels like that's why I was put here, you know. Uh, Twenty years this year, I've been uh, building and repairing guitars. I do neck resets and, and just uh, new bridges and things like that for the older Martins, refinishes, pickup installations, uh, fittings, refrets, uh, everything. I really enjoyed music when I was growing up and I, I wanted to play guitar specifically um, because that was kind of a prerequisite for 80s music was a guitar solo. I like tinkering with things, and so uh, it felt like a good way to make a living and still being involved in music. It was just kind of a sink or swim thing where uh, I just got into it and I hung my shingle out and people started bringing guitars and I started fixing them. In, in this day and age, it's, it's uh, something that cannot be outsourced or replicated. Um, you know, by a machine or in some inexpensive way. Uh, so it, it's kind of an old trade in a way, even though it's it's not um, like violin making or anything like that. It's uh, it's something that you learn, and you learned it from somebody else, and then maybe one day you'll teach it to somebody. I guess I I left to New England in 1999 and wanted to live there and, and work for a guitar maker and become a guitar maker. And uh, I lived there for about a year, a little over a year, a little under a year. Um, I just missed being here. And um, being here in Alaska, it's to me, I, I don't know that I'm right about this, but to me it feels different than the lower 48. It's just nice up here. I think everybody up here is kind of um, new to here, uh, even if they're parents were born here they're still pretty new to here I think being from Alaska um, maybe being from such a sparsely populated part of the world uh, makes you feel like you actually might be able to um, succeed at whatever venture you're on I guess when I look at other people's work that's really good when they've repaired something um, it, I have this uh, this respect for that person um, because they took the time to do it the right way and um, I guess I admire that, and so that's a quality that I'd like to um, have also, uh, when somebody actually takes the time to do something right and to learn a craft. I work with my hands, and I do things with my hands that took me 20 years to figure out how to do. It's a representation of who you are, and when I'm gone, you know, hopefully those things will still be around, and the, the feeling I get when I see a really nice repair that somebody did. I hope that if somebody saw something I made, they would somehow um, maybe associate that a little bit with me.